saw in the background when I was up here, and I always wanted to give a presentation from the Whirlpool Galaxy, so I'm just going to leave that. <laughs> um, so, like I said, uh, I'm going to be very brief. I know I'm standing between you and a cup of coffee to warm up a little bit today, so I've, I've just got a story of about uh, five or six minutes as kind of lead into what we want to accomplish during the breaks. Um, so it is early 2000s, and I change jobs, and I take a position as the CIO of um, one of the Berkshire Hathaway family of companies, a company called Flight Safety International, relatively large, about a billion dollars in revenue a year. And it was a fantastic opportunity for me, right? I, I uh, finished getting my master's, I had 10 or 15 years of, of technology consulting experience prior to that, and Flight Safety was such a great opportunity because for probably 50 years, they had relatively no investment in technology. And I looked at it and I said, this is great. You know, I can start on the ground floor, it's a profitable company, it's, it's a company that's growing, um, and I can use everything that I've learned over the course of the last 15 years to help modernize their technology and build the foundation of bringing them to the 21st century. And I flopped, right? I start, I have all these great ideas about things in, in areas where we can invest, in areas where I saw that that investment was going to have an improvement in the company's overall operations. Um, and I never got the support that I needed. Right? I didn't get the funding that was required. Um, my peer group and my executive management team struggled to, to understand why they should support those initiatives. And it was humbling, right? And I sat there and I, I struggled with why is this happening, right? And, and I realized it wasn't that I had the wrong ideas. It wasn't that I had the wrong technologies. It wasn't that I didn't understand the business, right? But I was speaking like a technologist. I was speaking in bits and bytes, and I was giving the argument for investment that I would need to hear uh, from my own perspective, right? And that wasn't a language that was consumable to them, right? They understood finding the business, they understood revenue streams and efficiency gains and opportunity cost, right? And, and it wasn't until I started to express um, the, the impact that the technology and the initiatives that I want to wanted to undertake, it wasn't until I started to express those uh, in the language of business um, that I met success, right? My CFO, who I work for, how many, just on, on, as a side note, how many people here report into the CFO of the organization? It's a tough, particularly for somebody that's a technologist, it's a tough role to fit into, right? Because your boss is a guy that you have to convince that that's the right path to go down, he's also the guy that holds the purse strings for investment in the company. If he sat here, he would have loved Ken Owens' talk, and he would have said, wow, he's a really smart guy, and Rick, Rick's really a smart guy, but I don't know what the hell they're really talking about, and I'm not gonna spend any money on it. Right? <laughs> and so, you know, I was making arguments for things like, we need an active, active data center, we need redundancy at these sites, we need to make these investments. And he didn't understand what I was talking about, and didn't want to fund it, until I was able to express to him what the cost was of not doing it. Right? and what he realized, the risk that he was embracing by not making that investment. Suddenly, once I did that, it wasn't easy, right? Um, but I was able to get, gain traction within the organization, and I was able to gain support from my peer group as well as my executive management team to fund and bring those initiatives forward. Now, the downside was I was doing that all by myself. I, my wife, I drove my wife nuts. Um, I'm sitting there with Excel spreadsheets with all these different cost models and impact models for why we should make this investment versus this investment, the cost of doing nothing, et cetera, et cetera. And it was effective, but it took a lot of time out of my day. That's what we're kind of set up to do here a little bit for you during the break and what we want to talk through in terms of the breakout sessions after that.